Ultra Project Chronicle. She's got at least 394 subscribers and around 78,547 views. She could kick your ass in less time than it would take her to make a delicious mug of tea. It's Abigail Dufo. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. Is it Thursday? I. This is never going to change. I'm never going to know what day it is. I don't know why I even feel bad for forgetting. It was Thursday, August 28th. And I got tagged on 11, the 11 question tag by Chris Weir. And I couldn't think of what to do for a video today. So that's what you're getting. Uh, so. Ooh, throat hurts. I have tea. I'm going to try and do this in one take because I really don't want to spend a lot of time editing this. Um, so let's go. Uh, rule number one. Always post the rules. Rule well, number two, answer the questions the person who tagged you asked and then write another 11 new questions. I will put my 11 new questions in the comments or in the description of the video. I have to tag 11 people and link them to the post. Um, we'll see. Uh, um, I don't really... See, I'm not never the first one to do this, so a lot of people end up doing them before I do. So um, I'm going to skip that rule. It, it, it only says always post the rules. It doesn't say always follow the rules, so I'm not going to tag anybody. Um, maybe some friends, but they won't be doing video responses, so that's kind of irrelevant. Um, tell them you tagged them, all right, and tell the person who tagged you that you've answered the questions. Well, I will post my video, which will let Chris know that I've done this. So, Chris, I'm doing this. Eh. Um, okay, question number one. What social networks are you on? Oh gosh. Um, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Is Pinterest a, is Pinterest a social network? Um, I do Pinterest and I'm kind of on Google Plus. I'm on Google Plus as much as it requires me to for Project Chronicle and doing my videos. So sure, we'll say Google Plus. Which social network is your favorite? Probably Facebook, um, but uh, Tumblr's a good time sink. And Twitter's good for making me giggle, which doesn't really answer your question. Um, what's my favorite? I'm always on Facebook, so I'm gonna say face. Uh, okay, it's gonna be Facebook or Tumblr. Um, Facebook. We'll say Facebook. Um, what is the last website GIF or image to make you laugh? Yeah, you can call it GIF, but it's GIF is a brand of peanut butter to me, so it's GIF. Um, and my reasoning for that is if you put a T on the end, you don't pronounce it gift, it's gift. So it's gift. That's that's how I have always pronounced it. And Hank Green, you can suck my dick. Um, oh, I shouldn't have said that. My mom's going to watch this. Oh, no, she might not. She doesn't watch them always. Sorry, mom. Okay. Um, so what was the last one to make you laugh? Uh, oh, Pizza Cat. I put it, um, I linked it on, I, uh, it was a thing I saw on Imager. And I will put it up. Um, I will put the link to it in the description. Oh my god, it made me laugh so hard. My husband found it and just showed it to me and we just kind of lost our shit. Alright, uh, what online magazines or long-form blogs do you follow? None lately. Um, I used to follow quite a few, but I kind of found them to be... Well, the one woman I just got really annoyed with, she got really narcissistic and I just, no, wasn't into it. And the other ones that I did I just kind of got tired of um, I used to f I sometimes use I well I used to follow a lot of food blogs but eventually when you follow six of them and they end up like reblogging each other and they just end up like mentioning each other and doing old recipes it just got really confusing so now I just kind of have a backlog that I sometimes read through if I'm looking for something to cook and if I'm really really bored I'll go and kind of go back over the past five months but usually if the most things I follow are tumblers. I don't really follow long form blogs anymore. What podcast do you regularly listen to? I don't. The only podcast I ever listened to, um, they stopped like four, five years ago. I haven't listened to them since. Um, oh, they were so good. It was called Vegan Freak Radio and it were these two PhD type people in the States and they were so funny and no nonsense and just oh they had some of the they had some of my favorite cookbook authors on there and they would talk to them and they had some animal rights people on there that were really really good and they were a lot they were quite um severe in their abolition an abolitionist approach and i definitely am not as 
crazy hardcore vegan as a lot of people are, even as um, a couple of my friends are, but it definitely opened my eyes to some of the more stupid ways I used to think about things, so that's always a good thing, I suppose. Um, where do you acquire your music? Uh, when I'm acquiring it legally, it's from, it's from iTunes. <laughs> Uh, where do you go for news and info on current events? I go to probably Twitter because I follow a lot of news websites on Twitter, so I'll check that and then if something appeals to me, I'll read the whole thing. Um, SourceFed's also a great one, but they're more for the states and I try, I realized a couple years back when we had an election that I really knew nothing about our politics and I knew way more about the United States and I was like well okay yeah the United States is kind of infiltrated everywhere but it's my own country I should really understand what all the politics are and I felt kind of like a doofus for that so yeah Twitter usually is where I go to for that what is one way what's one way how you intend to improve your life um I'm trying to get healthy I really am I I eat pretty well it's just the exercise portion and I know like I said at a computer most of the day gaming like that's not the healthiest lifestyle um but since i've been sick i've been trying to go outside and just sit and read in the sun for a little bit because vitamin d is so good for you and as much as i go <sighs> when i'm out near the sun it's it's good for me so especially when i'm sick so i've been sitting outside yesterday i sat outside for an hour and i read and it was wonderful and i feel like i may have gotten a bit sunburnt but that could just be the pad lighting um what's something you really enjoy but not designed for your demographic I dislike this question because what what's my demographic like I like gaming but apparently that's not a girl thing and I like knitting but apparently that's an old lady thing and I like scrapbooking but apparently that's a mom thing but it's like it everything is becoming so approachable and so vast in its um, marketing that there isn't really a set demographic for stuff anymore. Like, really, there isn't. So I, I disagree with the premise of your question, Chris Weir. Um, but yeah, I, I would just, I would say those three. Like, I love scrapbooking. I'm doing a scrapbook with my grandparents' 50th anniversary. But if you go to Pinterest or you look at what they're marketing to, it's all about moms and scrapbooking their kids' life. So that's obviously not in my demographic because I don't have kids right now or I love knitting but that's something that little old ladies do when their husbands die or they sit in front of a you know a fire it's like well no because I do it while I'm marathoning Doctor Who come on um and yeah uh gaming gaming is a huge thing that I do but obviously you know girls don't game it's like the main thing you see in trade chat on wow it's like women don't game there aren't any women here and it's like no I don't exist or I'm secretly a man yeah totally Alright, uh, what do you spend the most time doing online? Um, gaming. So that would be... Uh, yeah, gaming. A lot, a lot of gaming. And, well, I usually I'll have two things going, so I'll be playing a game and I'll have a YouTube video running in the background, so those two things. And you wish you could spend more or less time doing it. Going it. I think he meant doing it. Um... I'd like to spend less time gaming and more time doing some of my other interests like I said like yesterday when I sat outside and read for an hour was the first time I read anything but fan fiction in a couple in about a week and I used to read every night before I went to bed and then we finally kind of started doing it and then we were both sick so that wasn't happening but yeah I wish I could spend a little like, gaming is so much fun um but I wish I could kind of be like Kate that's enough I'm gonna go you know sit outside or sit on a couch with some music and just read for a little bit but Kind of difficult when my my, li my living quarters have kind of been overtaken with all of this construction but it's almost done so he's he's cut out all the rotten wood and he's gonna get that going soon so soon i will be back in my bed and not across the hall from my in-laws <laughs> that'll be nice okay so um i will not be tagging anybody but i will tell chris that i have done this and i will put a link down to that pizza cat thing down below because oh my god it was hysterical anyway that is it for today thank you so much for watching guys like and subscribe if you feel so inclined have a beautiful day